What is the best hunter build? Have you ever wondered what specific combination of items is most optimal for damage? If you're building items like Kins and Odysseus's bow, is it better to have Titan's Bane in your build for extra penetration on yellow damage? Or does Dominance still reign supreme with its extra basic attack penetration? Is crit the best option, especially with the seemingly overpowered new addition of Devoted Deathbringer? Does this make Death's Temper mandatory for its ability to make crits even more potent? With the help of a Python model, we will be able to determine exactly what build is optimal in a variety of situations, learn how to make the best decisions when it comes to building, and maybe find an optimal build for all games. Okay, so let's take a look at our first graph. This is the top 10 builds against enemies that have built zero physical protections. So that's against squishy targets. So the first top build against these targets is Death Temper, Executioner, Bladed Boomerang, Rage, Deathbringer, and Odysseus's Bow. The next highest is Atlanta's Deathbringer, Rage, Bladed Boomerang, Executioner, and Death Temper. But as you can see with some of these items, they can be inconsistent. So for example, Death Temper. That could be have zero stacks or it could have 10 stacks so i've decided to model that at half the number of stacks so it multiplies basic attack damage by 1.175 executioner could have zero stacks it could have four stacks on the target but i've modeled that at full stacks because it's quite easy to stack executioner on an enemy so that reduces enemy protections by 0.28 every time executioner appears in this build blade of boomerang could have zero to three stacks but it is a very inconsistent item and i've modeled it to have just one stack and it does appear in this top build with just one stack rage is fully stacked deathbringer is actually devoured deathbringer so it increases crit chance by 1.2 and odysseus's bow it could proc once or it could proc four times i've modeled it to just proc twice which means it bounces once hits the target and then bounces so even modeled at half damage potential, Odysseus's bow still appears in the top build. Blade of Boomerang with just one stack still appears in the top build against a squishy, but it is very inconsistent and it can be difficult to pick up those stacks. Death Temper again appears in the top build, only modeled at half damage potential. So other items like that are Ornate Arrow, which has been modeled to have 75% of its stacks, and also Diamond Arrow which has been modeled to just have one stack. So if Diamond Arrow had been modeled to have three stacks, I imagine it would jump up right into the top build. Maybe you'd see Silver Branch in that build as well because of how much attack speed you get. So these kind of items are high risk, high reward items. But this table by itself isn't very useful because we're not just going to be hitting squishies in these games. We're also going to be hitting tanks, warriors and guardians. So let's take a look at our next graph, which will compare damage between certain builds against different levels of physical protections and health. Okay, so let's take a look at our second graph. So in the yellow, we can see the best build against an enemy that does have spectral. And this enemy has been modeled to have 3,700 health and 300 protections. And the optimal build against them does 670 DPS with Odysseus's bow, Silver Branch, Kins, Executioner, Titan's Bane, and Diamond Arrow. The absolute best build against an enemy that has no physical protections. So a squishy target is this build. Odysseus Bow, Deathbringer, Rage, Blade of Boomerang, Executioner, and Death Temper, just as we saw in the previous graph. And the best build against a Guardian that doesn't have Spectral is Deathbringer, Demon Blade, Blade of Boomerang, Kins, Executioner, and Diamond Arrow at 694 DPS. So let's compare these builds. So on this line here is the same build. So here where it says against Squishy is this build, the best against a tank with Spectral, but using that build to hit a Squishy target. And that only does 801 DPS. If we compare that to this red one, we can see it's a 300 DPS drop off. So if you've built optimally to kill a tank, you'll be losing 300 DPS hitting a Squishy when you compare that to using the best build to kill a squishy target. Now we look at the optimal build for bit for killing a squishy. If we go down this line here, this is still the same build. And so against a tank, this exact same build against a tank will be doing 527 damage. And that tank doesn't have spectral. 
So we compare these two numbers. If you've built optimally to kill a squishy with this build, and you start hitting a tank, you'll be doing 527 damage per second. If you compare that to building optimally against a tank without spectral, we can see that's about 150 DPS drop off between these two numbers. If you've built optimally to kill a squishy and you start hitting a tank that does have spectral, you'll be doing 434 DPS. If you compare that to the best build against a tank with spectral, we can see that's a difference of about 250 DPS. And that's very significant when you consider how much health these targets have, which is 3,700. So that equates to about six seconds longer to kill that target if you've built optimally to kill a squishy and you start hitting a tank. So another interesting comparison to make is looking at the best build against a tank that does have spectral versus the best build against a tank that doesn't have spectral. And we can see a difference there of about 24 DPS. So 670 compared to 694. So if you want to build optimally to kill a tank, there's almost no need to build this build with crit because if you build this build and then the enemy buys spectral, you'll be doing about 600 DPS compared to when you could be doing 670 DPS if you just built this normal build. So the, the drop off between these two is about 100 DPS when you could just be losing about 24 DPS if you just built this build in the first place. So if your playstyle is to kill tanks, there's almost no need to build the, these crit builds. It's best just to go for this pure yellow damage penetration build. But there is an advantage to building this build, and that is if the enemy doesn't build spectral, then yes, you will still be doing slightly more damage. But this build is actually really, really effective against squishy targets as well. So the only thing holding this build back is the fact that Spectral exists. And if the enemy does build Spectral, you'll be losing out on a decent bit of damage. So in this table is also the best build against Warriors with and without Spectral. But they turn out just to be exactly the same as against a Guardian with and without Spectral. So if you're building optimally to kill a Guardian, you're also building optimally to kill a tank as well. Uh, a Warrior. Okay, so the last few builds, we saw absolutely no lifesteal in the builds. That's because lifesteal items simply don't provide enough DPS to appear. So now I've filtered each build to contain at least one lifesteal item. So in the green, you can see the best against a warrior that has 3,000 health and 200 protections is Odysseus Bow, Silver Branch, Devar's Gauntlet, Kins, Executioner, and Diamond Arrow. And this warrior does have Spectral. The best thing is a Squishy that contains lifesteal is Odysseus Bow, Devour's Gauntlet, Deathbringer, Bladed Broomerang, Executioner, and Ornate Arrow. The best against a tank without Spectral is Odysseus Bow, Crimson Claws, Kins, Executioner, Titan's Bane, and Diamond Arrow. And the best against a tank without Spectral is Deathbringer, Demon Blade, Bladed Broomerang, Kins, Executioner, and Hunter's Cowl. So these are the best builds against these specific enemies with Lifesteal. Okay, so like I said before, we had items like Diamond Arrow, Hunter's Cowl, and Blade of Boomerang that were really inconsistent items. So this is the best builds that do not contain those items. So we're not using Cowl for Lifesteal because we might want other starter items or we don't want to start with Cowl. Blade of Boomerang is too inconsistent, so we've just removed it. Diamond Arrow is also too inconsistent, so I've removed that as well. So without those items taken into consideration, we can see the best against a warrior with spectral is Odysseus's bow, silver branch, crimson claws, kins, executioner, and death's temper. The best against a squishy who has built no protections is Odysseus's bow, devour's gauntlet, deathbringer, rage, executioner, and death's temper. The best against a tank with spectral is Odysseus's bow, crimson claws, kins, executioner, titan's bane, and ornate arrow. So now we can actually see some crit in this build against a enemy that does have spectral, a guardian. And the best against a Guardian that doesn't have Spectral is Crimson Claws, Deathbringer, Demon Blade, Kins, Executioner, and Ornate Arrow. So now we've got all that information, what are we supposed to do with it? So here what I've filtered for is the top 10 builds that will kill the enemy team in the least amount of time possible. Blade of Boomerang isn't included in this, but I've re-added Diamond Arrow. And every single build contains Lifesteal in one form or another.
So you can see the top build is Odysseus's Bow, Devar's Gauntlet, Demon Blade, Kins, Executioner, and Diamond Arrow. As the top build that will kill the entire enemy team in about 18.09 seconds. And a close second is Odysseus's Bow, Crimson Claws, Deathbringer, Kins, Executioner, and Ornate Arrow. And I'll let you read the rest for yourselves. The only two builds that don't contain crit are these two here, build number 5 and 6. And every single build contains Kins and Executioner as a combo, because that must be a really strong combo combo for killing tanks so i hope that was insightful and uh happy smiting